I was joking. Looking forward to this one. If you couldn't tell. Oh guys, it's not a coincidence that we've left this Mizuno Pro Iron right until the end. Well it is, we started at 221 and 223 and didn't we? Today we welcome the heavyweight of the Mizuno Pro range. A heavyweight that's not really a heavyweight because it's very compact and it's hollow. Nailed it! Let's get one thing straight, this is not just any Mizuno Pro 225 iron. Oh no, this is a Hot Metal Blade 2.0 and we're pretty excited about it. Coming in even more compact than the previous, yet somehow managing to contain Cortec multi-thickness phase technology, there to produce very fast and fast ball speeds. So just going to go nice and easy, 180 yards, we have the 7 iron, I've got no idea where this is going to go in terms of distance or direction to be honest. I hit that very soft. Um, I think we need to make an adjustment. I have no idea what this club's got in this. I, that's a very easy 190 yards. Very easy. How small this actually is, considering what's packed inside, it's quite amazing, really. I mean, this is getting to a point where each new addition that comes out, it's getting smaller. When are we going to ditch the 221 if we're getting more tech inside it? Do you know what I mean? I mean, don't get me wrong, the top line's a little bit thicker, but for someone like me, who does like the look of a blade, everything being small and thin, I'd happily play this. You've got to go in the hole now. I was joking. You can't do that to me. That would have, what as one clip, that right there would have blown up, surely. I don't know if I'm angry or impressed. <laughs> Featuring Grain Flow Forge 4125 Chrome Molly in the face and the neck. The face and the neck. So the 225 has a 0 0.2 millimeter thickness across the face. If the face was to look down inside the iron and talk, this is what it would sound like. Would you like to know why? It's because it's hollow, baby. A COR forged hollow body to be precise, and there is a 28.5 gram tungsten weight situated inside the two to seven iron, just so it doesn't feel as lonely, which is there for a higher, more stable ball flight. I do feel for irons with this sort of stature, companies can kind of put to the side sound and feel like it doesn't really matter. It goes miles, it's hollow, it's full of tech, and it looks good. So it sounds like trash doesn't matter but this feels absolutely marvelous and sounds good as well even in here I do feel usually with a split set, it's a bit like a pick and mix. I'll take a few chunky ones, a few mid ones, and then some really bladey ones for the, for the wedges. Um, this year, I feel like the clubs are trying to rival that. You could actually say it's almost a split set in itself because two to seven iron, we've got the 28.5 tungsten, whilst the nine to pitching wedge has got the 1025E pure select mild carbon steel. There to really stabilize the rear part of the club for precision and precise golf shots. Two to seven iron. 9 iron to pitching wedge. 8 iron? Did someone forget about the 8 iron? Before I actually knew what the 8 iron was doing in this set, I felt like it was that randomer that tries to photobomb you in the street. Or the kid that's forced to participate and hold the water bottles. Do you know what I mean? Like, what is the 8 iron actually doing here? Well, you could say the 8 iron is a transitional club in the set. It sits right in the middle. It doesn't have any tungsten, but it's there to really smooth that transition curve from the longer to the shorter.
I love it. It's no surprise, I think the only negative I've got for this entire range, obviously we've got the fly high to come, that looks pretty exciting. Um, apparently it goes absolutely miles as well, that'll be coming soon, so make sure you hit the sub and you hit the bell notification too. But the only downside, the only negative I've got for this entire Mizuno Pro range is probably the look of the 223 from, from here. That's it, and that's not really that important really, who cares? So if you want to help this video out and you also want to see these irons on the course, Simply comment, what have we had? Course 221, course 223. Ah, let's do something different. Let's do course 225 in the comment section. Yep, it it's just feels so solid, but yet soft. Do you know what I mean? So the exact specs of the 7 iron are now down below. That's what we've got, of course, the 7 iron. The shaft really intrigues me this year. It's a Project X IO, so it's got the same stability as a Project X, but it's lighter. We've got this as a 5.5105 gram, and it feels excellent. And there's a grip. Just kidding, it's the Golf Pride MCC, of course. So that was interesting for Turf interaction, you could argue that's not turf, it's not, but felt like I went a bit healy there, flicking that face over, but it seemed very stable at impact, so we didn't get that much movement. It felt it was in the Himalayas. Oh yeah, could game them. I suppose the only other thing to mention before we have our last shot, look at the numbers and then the all important shot shaping challenge. I've mentioned about it a lot in this new Mizuno Pro range and that's of course the copper underlay and obviously there's no exception here in the 225. It's in there, it's probably why it still feels so good. Ah. Oh enough to make a grown man cry. Right, numbers. It's like he doesn't want me to put it down. <laughs> Crazy. Right. So considering how inconsistent my swing is at the moment post-injury, this has been by far the most consistent iron I've had in here. In here. <laughs> in here. In here for a while. And I literally removed the first shot. That's it. This is the average of them all. And it's, it's, man, it's, 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 I'm all right. I'm a dad. I'm sleep deprived. All right, not my fault. Backspin's probably on the lower side at 5,894. Remember, this is a 7.9 with slightly stronger lofts, for sure. Carry 186, total distance 191. And the interesting part, again, which I felt like I had with a 223, that proved me wrong. It's just gonna be a bit more difficult with shot shaping, because there's a lot of story about stability. Obviously, the more stability we have, the harder it is to shape. Is this going to be the problem here? Mizuno Pro range completed it, mate. That's it. We've got the fly high to do, which I, I'm, I've heard many things, many exciting things about. But this has been a great full stop in the Mizuno Pro story. But as I've said in the previous reviews, there are faults there. These aren't the perfect irons. They aren't, and they never will be. There is no perfect golf club out there. And again, it depends who you are and what you require from the golf club. Well, that'll be it for another two years, won't it? No, it won't. We've got the toe to toes to do. Very important. Comment down below which ones you would really like to see in the Mizuno Pro range, and I'll start with that. So whatever we get the most of, that'll be the first video. Very excited. Guys, thank you as always for watching. If you're not a part of Team Al, please consider hitting the subscribe button and the bell notification if you like the content, of course. Follow us on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, live streaming on Twitch, and of course, join the best community in the world on Discord. It's been great to see you all gradually coming over. You'll understand when you're there. The link is down below. Hi, draw. Exaggerated starting line, but that's definitely drawing back. That'll look lovely with the tracer.
I always hit this one in the water. I told you I wanted to do that. Ah, it's a terrible swing. Oh, it's drawing. Oh, it's not doing anything, is it? Is it? What's that doing? What is it? What are you doing? That's that's fading. <gasps> you did 151 right. That that's moved a lot. Give yourself some credit, Al. Come on, mate. Oh dear. That's a fail. There we go. Oh, hit it. That was in. <laughs> that was in. <laughs> Oh dear. Heavy. It's going to answer the question now. It's long. That was wild, that one. Does it shot shape? Can it shot shape? Will it shot shape? 